Hello everybody, Steve Bontel with Insure Sales. We're back here in Dallas, Texas. All 107 degrees, I think, today and rising for 8% Nation. Uh, I want to thank Cody Askins and uh, the wonderful team here at 8%. Put on a wonderful conference. We've met so Great. many wonderful people. And um, one of those is in my home state of Florida uh, from Tampa. And he decided to grace us today with his presence. Uh, it's Jose Rodriguez, and Jose, I want to welcome you to Insure you. Sales and, and what we're talking about here. Pleasure. Jose, for the folks that maybe haven't been to an 8% nation, maybe tell us about your experience this week and maybe what you tell those people, maybe who are on the fence about do they want to come here or not. Um, maybe you can tell them you know, what, what you have experienced so far. You know, um, I even questioned whether I wanted to come or not. And I was, in retrospect, I'm so glad that I came just because of the, the great people that are here. First of all, all the speakers are great. A lot of motivation, a lot of insight. Um, I thought Bradley killed it. I loved it. Yep. Um, and uh, all, the, all, all the energy that's poured into the people that came from that stage is essential to keep it moving, you know? One reason why that's important is because a lot of the salespeople, sometimes it's a solo road for the sales. And this is the only time you really get to come across a, a large crowd of the, the same industry, same energy, and really get to network and connect. I mean, uh, a lot of good conversations going on and good relationships created, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was with you too, uh, there with Brad and um I think we started everything with Carlos Boozer. Uh, <laughs> that was another great one with the personal stories of, of right. uh, just, you know, I got goals, you got goals, I got goals. You know, it's, yeah. it's great though, but those kind of insights, you know, they help refresh your mind and your energy as a salesperson because sometimes it gets a little stale and redundant just doing the, the, the everyday activities of it, you know, so it's, it's a good, it's a good refreshment. but. What's really nice, though, that I didn't anticipate, because obviously a good list of speakers, I wanted to come and see that, right? right. Was the vendors that are out here and the, the relationships built through that, right? right. Getting to uh, speak with you, Thank Insure you. Sales and, and um, Nashville and other groups of, of, of vendors out here that they really pour into that market and that industry and getting to call, uh, create those relationships are, are priceless. You know, Jose, one of the things that uh, I was impressed by talking to you off camera is is what's great about the insurance industry and frankly probably a lot of industries but but certainly in this one is people come from all walks of life like you know they they, they don't necessarily wake up and say I want to be in the insurance business right sometimes it's a it just kind of happens tell us a little bit about how you came about really getting into this industry and succeeding like you have in such a very short period of time you know, you, you, what you're saying is 100% truth in this industry. They, people that end up here come from all different walks of life. Very rarely is it somebody like, I started this, you know, uh, this was what I've done out of high school. My background can attest to that. Uh, um, I originally graduated for recording engineering. And this we didn't talk about off camera, but yeah. I graduated for recording engineering, top of my class, and I ended up working in a studio hit factory criteria for about uh, five, six years. And uh, I have all kind of credits, two platinum plaques, Grammy nomination. Nice. I loved it. Um, music was my passion and uh, the engineering side of it, technical side. Um, but ultimately, um, it, it started to drift from there and I got into cooking. And I ended up being a chef for about 12 years, uh, getting nominated for James Beard Awards twice. Nice. Right, and um, COVID happened and kind of swept that rug from under me. Once they shut down hospitality, I was out of a job. I had a brand new mortgage. My wife was pregnant. I already have a, a, a 10 year old. It was very stressful. I mean, being a chef doesn't pay much anyway. Right. right? <laughs> so a lot, a of, lot of hours on your feet too, right? People right. don't realize that you're there in that kitchen a lot. Right, right. That's absolutely correct. Um, and um, it beat down on me, stress-wise. Um, but I had an opportunity uh, to, to step into this industry. And I had no idea what I was stepping into. 
um, in the sense that after a couple months of being in it, I loved what I was doing. Um, and that love for what I was doing really made a difference in, in um, my transition from being like a W-2 to a 1099. Uh, and being from a worker to a salesperson, right? Um, and I really don't even look at it as a salesperson. I provide a service that people really need and asking for. I'm just helping you protect your family. I'm just being the middleman for some people's concerns that are inside of them, right? And so um, that's why I fell in love with doing what I'm doing, you know? And uh, ultimately, I end up being pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you a little bit better than pretty good. I mean, Jose is a top performer in our industry, and he's doing it at a very high level. And and you can't do it uh, if you don't put the needs of other people first. And exactly. you clearly have 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 done that. So, Jose, exactly for those correct. for those individuals that are kind of thinking about a career in our industry, um, that are currently in another industry. Uh, who may be following their passion, but maybe their passion isn't quite lighting the fire that it used to, right? And they're saying, I'd like to maybe make a little bit more money. You know, it's as funny as Brad said, we mentioned Brad right. the other day. I mean, this is an industry that has created probably the most millionaires out of any industry in the world, and it has for so so long. That so we know money's in the industry, but but for those people who are kind of watch this today and, and they see now you've had very successful background now in two different careers before you came to this one, maybe if they're on the fence of making the decision to come here and join this industry, maybe you can give them some words of advice. Um, I definitely now know that it's based on relationships. Uh, you have to create a good relationship. So um, for instance, uh, communicating with Steve, we create a good relationship. Now Steve knows what I'm looking for as a person, right? And, um, and how this industry is gonna help me achieve that. One of the good things that I didn't anticipate when I got into this industry that's a blessing is being able to help and serve other people brings a joy to me that wasn't happening in my previous industries. Um, I was happy in my previous industries, but the joy of helping another family and seeing what a life insurance policy could do for another family is amazing, right? But also what it did for my family financially took me from one stage to the next stage financially. And um, that, I mean, that's a blessing to just know that my family's financially secure. I helped secure other families financially. And um, I also help agents as you, um, you know, uh, help agents get, get involved into the industry and change their families' lives, other families' lives, right? So um, that's, I, I think that's ultimately where, where it's gonna lie, but what's really cool is that the industry, you're gonna find a great relationship with somebody that's gonna help mentor you and help coach you into that sales role um, because most of us, it's not a natural transition or everybody would do it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's definitely a good industry. Um, a lot of uh, secure uh, relationships there that I like. So one of the things that you just mentioned, Jose, too, which I, I is that word relationships, and you yeah. said it a few times, and we've heard that a lot yeah. over the last three days here in Dallas. Is yeah. um, you know to, when you're thinking about, is it about is it about the money? Is it about what I can get today, or is it about really building the future relationships and building for a better tomorrow by really creating friends and creating somebody that you care about, and then ultimately they kind of reciprocate because they care too, and then before long you have a client, you have referrals, you have the ability to build your life and your business in a way, and and, and that was really talked about a lot, wasn't it, over it the is. last few days? It, it was. That's kind of like the undertone, right? The, uh, is just getting to know somebody, uh, asking good questions, and, and being of service, and uh, it comes back to you. You know, some relationships are give, some relationships are, are take, and uh, um, you try to balance that out, you know? But uh, it's, just, it's just nice to know others are in the industry. They're going through the same struggles, and in communicating with them, they might say something that totally clicks for you. 
right? And gives you a whole new a fire to go run out, a, a whole new torch to go run to tomorrow, you know, out right. to the field. That's part of that relationship. That's part of that reciprocal uh, energy. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, I have two really good friends that I met um, that are very close to me, dear now, that I met in the industry, you know? And, yeah. and they're close to my family now. Um, so, you know, it's, it's relationships. Life is based off of relationships. So the industry being life insurance obviously is kind of like relationship insurance. How about that one? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, you know, somebody told me a long time ago, a very dear friend in our industry, said, Steve, you know, life is, is, um, is like a parachute. You know, it really only works if you're open, right? If you're open to new ideas, whether it be your mind, your heart, your soul, you know, and, and, and here you were open to this industry and now you're in it and now you love it. You're promoting it. You're caring about it. You're, Absolutely. you're talking to people every day about how to become better. Will you do me a favor if you'd like, uh, and look at the camera. If anybody is kind of thinking about a career in insurance that maybe they're currently in another career or Maybe they're down in the Florida area, and in, in the Tampa, St. Pete area, and they said, you know, I'm an agent watching this, and you know, Jose's in my backyard. Maybe if you'd like to, if, if there's a way they can get in touch with you, and just maybe, like you say, make a new relationship, make a new friend, and maybe help them understand the benefits of the industry, and maybe have a friend to help them get into the industry. Maybe let them, let them know who you are, Jose, and maybe leave them your message if that works for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, you could always reach out to me, actually. Uh, my name is Jose Rodriguez. Um, I run all the state of Florida. Uh, I am located, though, in Tampa, Florida. But you could reach out to me. My personal number is 305-924-2064. So um, just shoot me a text message. Hey, I saw you on the video and in insure sales. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll just start a, a chat real quick and, and see if there's anything that I might be able to help you. Maybe I can plug you in with Steve uh, and really get you started in this industry. Thank you, Jose. Look, when you're looking to get into insurance, sometimes it can be daunting because you don't really understand it or, or maybe you're in it, but you really need to have somebody that can inspire you. Here is somebody that is doing it at an extremely high level. He's here at 8% and being recognized by his peers as being one of the top players in the industry. Look out for Jose Rodriguez. Jose, thanks so much for finding time to be with us. It was a pleasure meeting you too. I'll see thanks you in Florida. Yes, sir. You betcha. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Take care, guys.